What's up guys? Today we are going to go through settings on how you can boost your frames. I have my frames set at a maximum of 400 and I only get up to, I believe, 240. So I have rig runs completely fine and everything. I'm going to go through a couple things that I changed that will probably work for you and make sure to post out in the comments if you have other issues. I can try to help you out. But first, let's start with the basics graphics so i have mine turned up a little bit because i do have a 4080 you don't need to have your graphics on like this um shadow quality you you are going to want at medium no matter what and first and foremost i am on direct x 11 i plan on using 11 until 12 is forced and when 12 is forced you know then we'll deal with that when it comes but right now I'm using 11. I've used 12. 12, I can still work it perfectly fine. It's just a little bit less frames, which is kind of annoying. So I want the optimal performance that I can get. So shadow quality, you want it at medium. Everything else can be on low. Everything else. Anti-aliasing off. Literally everything, just turn everything on low. But shadow quality, keep it on medium because it will help you in certain situations being able to see a shadow. So how to limit your frames, you're gonna to go to your game document folder. You're gonna open up folder, you're gonna to go to documents. You're gonna to go to my games, like so. Click Rainbow Six Siege, and then whichever one, you know, I have, I have two accounts, so I can use either one. I'll usually make changes in one and then copy paste the entire folder into it. So you go to game settings, you're gonna go down to FPS limit. I have my FPS limit set to 400, I only get I only have it on set to 240 currently, so I don't even need 400. I could probably lower that if I wanted to. The goal is to have maybe like a couple frames over what your display on your monitor is because you're not going to be able to see anymore anyways, and it's going to help your rig run a little bit more fluently. All right, next there's going to be a... It's going to be a little bit harder because everyone is going to have a different BIOS and motherboard, so... Your memory, everyone has like different RAM, but like make sure that you are going into your BIOS and setting XMP on and making sure you're getting the RAM speed that you are advertising, not the default RAM. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you know what your RAM sp speed should be, go to your task manager and you'll see right here under memory and you can see how fast your RAM actually is. I have DDR5 6400, which, I, which is what I have it set to because I have XMP on. Next thing is a pretty basic one but make sure you are going to your Windows updates occasionally and making sure that you are updating when you need to. Also, you need to update your NVIDIA graphics drivers using the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. You pull that up and it should auto install. Now here's a really important one. Going to graphics settings, you're going to go search up your Rainbow Six Siege applications. Here I did it for a couple things. And you're going to go to it, you're going to go to options, and you're going to go to high performance using the GPU that you want to use, which is going to be my 4080. So, okay, now you're going to go to power plan, you're going to go to advanced power settings to pull up another thing. You're going to want it on high performance just to get a little bit more juice into your system and make it run a little bit better. Make sure it's on high performance. Now you're going to right click your Siege application and you're going to go to compatibility. So in the past, you've been told to disable full screen optimizations, but you're going to want this checked. I've found, I've tested it. It does run a little bit smoother with that checked and run as administrator. It, you know, it does make it run a little bit better. Now we're going through the NVIDIA control panel. It's a little complicated. So I'm going to go through some of the things I changed and then, you know, you guys can follow along and copy it if you want. So here's everything that I did pause at any point. So you can see it all. Okay. Here's this performance. I have three monitors and I don't think anything else needs to be changed. It's just boom, boom, one and two. All right. Here's another thing you're going to do to optimize your machine is go to startup apps and you can turn off apps you don't want to start up 
you know, when your computer starts up. So, you know, like, you know, like epic launches, etc. You can turn them off. So you don't have multiple things going. All right, now we're gonna go through the rest of the siege settings, like ADS and everything. So we're gonna go through general. You can have it on white glare or dark glare when you get flashed. A lot of people like dark glare. I like white glare because it kind of wakes me up, shakes me up. Uh, Crossplay, if you're PC, you have it automatically on. If you're console, you can turn that off. Crossplay, cross play communication, you can change if you want. HUD, I mean, this is entirely up to you. I have it set to normal, compass, simplified. I, I, I don't like changing too much of this because it, it does get a little annoying, but if you feel like there's too much crap on your screen, you can turn it off, whatever you don't like. Audio, make sure you set your audio to night mode because you're going to hear the quiet sounds a little bit louder. The loud sounds are going to be a little bit quieter. Um, use night mode. Like that, this is a non negotiable use night mode. All right. Here's my display. I have it set to 1440 because I stream and do content and it makes the stream look a little bit nicer. And then I have it set to 240, even though I can't have it set to 360. Siege 1440, 360 is kind of rough. And ever since I got rid of Vulcan, even if I try to run 1080, 3060, which is what I used to run. It doesn't run the way that I want it to. So I do this, lower the frame count, but increase the quality for the stream. So I have aspect ratio set to 4.3. V-Sync always have off. Uh, FPS limit, I don't think that you should use this in the application itself. I think you should just do it in your game file. That's all I have there. Okay. I showed you guys the graphic settings. I have mine slightly different because I was really tweaking, changing one thing, running a benchmark, changing another thing, running a benchmark, and just seeing which is going to look the best as well as not going to be any frame issues at all. So controls, drone speed on hold. I have five, five, and then I have 800 DPI on my mouse. ADS sensitivity, I have 40, one X magnification, two, five, I have 50 and you know, Everything else, here it is. That's what I use. Gadget deployment, drone deployment, have these both on advanced. Uh, if you have it on standard, you you if let's say you're placing a thermite charge down, the guy you hear the guy banditing the wall, you're not gonna be able to take it off quickly. Advanced lets it you do it a little bit easier. As you stop the animation. AMI on hold. Lean I have on toggle. And, you know, crouch, toggle, toggle, toggle. I mean, here are controller settings, but this is a PC settings guide. So I will be doing a console settings guide later on. And uh, I believe that is it. All right. And uh, your game should be looking nice. Should be looking good. Shouldn't have stuttering. If you guys have anything, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see what I can do and try to help you out. And if anybody else, you know, knows what they're doing, it should help other people out. And uh, if you have any questions about, you know, what specs you're on and what's not working, let me know. And yeah, that's it. These settings work for you. Make sure to comment, leave us, you know, subscribe, and leave a like down below for more. Peace out. Until next time. Hey.